Look at this. I'm freaking huge. Freaking huge. Peekaboo. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Welcome to That's Not Sexy. I'm your master level personal trainer, Alex Diaz, aka Mr. Freaking Huge. <laughs> and this is going to be my sixth uh, video for Ask a, well, <laughs> Ask a Master. Certified Master Level Personal Trainer. So uh, this one's going to be a video, so here it goes. Hello, I'm Allie, and I faithfully watch your fitness videos. I love them, and they're awesome, so keep up the great work. I'm not freaking huge like you, though, but, you know, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working out and stuff. So I had a question for you, actually. And my question is, I've heard that you're supposed to do... Um, different like weightlifting activities like every other day do the same exercise every other day is it bad if you do the same thing every day and if so why thank you and keep up the great work with your videos bye all right thanks Ali, for your question so let's get right into it um you gotta let me know what kind of training you're talking about if you're talking about cardio um, or aerobic or um, yoga that you could do all the time um, yeah, any type of cardio program you could do that every day so um, as far as anything that doesn't involve calisthenics and uh, weight training you could do that every single day so um, like you could swim every day you could you know jump rope every day you could you know, ride bike you know all that stuff but as far as like doing push-ups and squats and dips you shouldn't do that every day and doing weight training like if you're gonna do legs you can do some squats today and then tomorrow you're gonna do some more squats and then the next day after that you can do more squats that's the worst thing you could do because you're not letting the whole thing about training is weight training you're 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 growing your muscles they're being they're developing when they're not being trained so when you're doing your training your muscles are not growing they're actually being torn down so the whole process of repairing is when you're not training. So when you're at rest, when your muscles are growing, not when you're training. So you, it's very important to get enough rest, uh, enough sleep, and rest that muscle so that you could be, you know, recover fine and you could train again in the next week. You know, so um, if you're going to be in the gym five days a week, you could do cardio all five days. If you, you could do uh, one day legs, one day back, one day chest, one day arms, one day shoulders, or split up however you want to do it, whatever order you want. I would make, recommend that you do the the bigger muscles first because they take the most amount of energy, and, um, and then you do your cardio after you do your weight training to help you know for the recovery. But it's like if you got a bruise, like if if you got a bruise in your arm and then you keep on touching it, it's not gonna heal, you know. So um, you have to let the, the bruise and your, you know, your muscles when it's broken down, let it heal. Let take a good, you know, break. Um, I would say, do a muscle group every week. Don't do that same muscle group again. If you are gonna do two, two, um, sorry, do work out the same muscle group again, at least give it a three uh, day break in between when you're gonna hit it again. Okay, um, because not only will it, it'll, you know, uh, the whole thing is that you're gonna, you know, you wanna recover when you're when you're not training, it's going to hurt your recovery, and also it's going to also um, cause injury. So that's why a lot of people have tendonitis and stuff is because they overtrain all the time. They always they do uh, like you know, uh, you know push-ups, and that works your chest and your triceps, and then and then they're going to do triceps tomorrow. So they they really didn't let their arms recover, and then they get tendonitis and you know get injured. So another reason why you shouldn't be training. A muscle group, the same muscle group again and again and again, is that you're more you're a lot more likely to get an injury because of the overworking tendons. So that's why a lot of people got a problem with you know um, they get hurt all the time is because they overtrain and they overtrain the tendons and it becomes inflamed and then you you can't even do any training for a week or two or depending on how severe it is. But that's another reason why you shouldn't be doing weight training on a specific muscle group again and again and again back to back okay so make sure in your training that the next the following day 
then you're not going to hit the same muscle group. So especially indirectly, like if you're doing a back workout, you're using your biceps as well. So if you do biceps the next day, well, you already kind of worked your bicep a bit. So work on another workout that doesn't involve your biceps, like you do legs or shoulders or whatever. So try to work out. I mean, I'm not sure how many days a week you're going to be training in a gym or if you do one day a week. Um, it's easy to do one day a week because then that's really simple. Um, but if you're only going to be there, you know, three times a week, then you'll be working two muscle groups together and make sure the next time you're going to be training that the, that muscle group isn't being uh, hit again during, during your training. But if you want to do legs twice a week, that's fine. You could do it Monday and then Thursday or Friday, you could do legs again. That's not a problem. So whatever your goals are, you can train the same muscle group twice a week. Um, but make sure that you have a good adequate amount of days in between to get a nice recovery. Um, and that's my answer to your question. So I hope you like everything that I said. If you don't like it, um, too bad. <laughs> uh, so uh, if you have a question, whoever's watching this video, if you have a question and you want to send uh, a video uh, response to, to, to this, um, you, can send a, sorry, you can send a response to this or any of my other videos and um, I will answer your question if you have one. If it's a video response, that is my top priority. So if I get videos, I'm going to be doing those and make one whole video just for you to help you out. If you send me questions on, on YouTube and Facebook and all that, I'm going to make a separate video and I'm going to make a compilation of everyone's questions on YouTube and Facebook into one video where I have a list of people's questions and I'm going to go pretty quick and answer them. But um. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, it. And uh, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Not only to this channel, but to Mr. Freaking Huge, which is my second channel. And I have quick facts and did you know facts to impress your friends. And you could just like look all cool and smart. So if you want to look all cool and smart and impress your friends, subscribe to That's Not Sexy, which is this channel. And also my second channel, Mr. Freaking Huge. All right. And if you're not subscribed, that's not sexy. Freaking you. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Take care.